seems to me, and I think everybody knows, we're capable of more. We have something much, much bigger in us. We have the capability of being creative, of compassionate action, of thoughts beyond just the selfish, let's face it, fear is very selfish, self-protective, fighting for life. And I think if we're going to graduate as a species from where we were to where we're going, we have to take fear head on. And I do, don't just mean physical dangers. Yeah, it's a great basis of metaphor. It's wonderful. If you're scared of spiders, you need to take it on. If you're scared of snakes, you betcha absolutely pick up a snake, maybe a rubber one to start. <laughs> if you're scared of heights, absolutely you need to get yourself on a ladder because as you do that, as you take that fear directly, head on, what you'll find is that certain metaphoric things start coming up in your head, certain epiphanies. As you get up in front of a group of people you've never met before who made it easier for you because they welcomed you so nicely, but still it's scary. When you take on that challenge, you go, wow, all right, how do I shine? I feel here. I feel contracted. How do I expand? Well, I start with a deep breath. What kind of deep breath, though? I mean, most of the time, when you say, all right, take a deep breath, people go, did that help? <laughs> you don't feel that different. So that's one of the things I share with my skydiving students. I sit them down and say, here's your secret weapon. Stop. Really stop. All I need is 10 seconds from you. And you go. And then on the way back down, you let it all go. You stop the struggle. We're kayakers in a river pointed the wrong way. We have to recognize that we're struggling. If life feels hard, if your job feels like work, you're pointed the wrong way. Turn the boat. And as a matter of fact, you don't even have to turn the boat. You just stop paddling, and the river will turn you. Because well-being is the basis of the universe.